Hi. This is the YouTube channel for Math Contest Go Go Go. What I want to do for this channel is to build a platform for math lovers in order to make them discuss about different kinds of math problems. I will update a video about challenging problems every day. If you would like, please subscribe below. Now, let's begin. Today, let's discuss about a harder problem. There is a grid of 6 times 6, and the score is indicated on each grid. What we need to do is that we need to find a path that has the highest score, starting from the left most corner which is the 1, and ends with the highest corner, which is 36, the one with 36. So first, we need to prove that this grid, we cannot find a path that is able to walk through all 36 boxes. We also can prove in this way that in a box of n times n, we are unable to walk through all grid when n is even and not equal to zero. So first, we assume that the box has two sides, left side and right side. If there is the all number of boxes, the line will already always go back to the left side. For example, at 4 times 2, it will always go back to the left side. So, we have to change for this situation. So we can try another way here. Going up and down. But the problem is, if we go up, it will change. This will be the left side. And this will be the right side. We're starting from the right side, right side, and go to the left side, and we we still will go back to the right side. Make an example again. Left and right. It is a two times four. If we want, we go like this way and we will still be back to right side. So which means if we want to go from the left side to the right side, then the number of grids from left to right have to be an odd number. Which means that we have to reduce the difference from left side to right side so that to an odd number so that we can go past. We can try. But there's a problem. Every time we reduce, we have to reduce two grids. For example, if we want to reduce that to six, four grids, then next time we, we reduce, we have only to reduce it to two grids because going forward and going back 
it is always counts as two lines times n columns. So which means that it will keep reducing until zero and it is always not able to make the left wall and the right wall. I mean the difference of the number of grids before left arrow and right zero arrow to be an odd number. So for example, we make a four times four degree four times four grid. To be certain, we have to make a example. So if we start from the left side and we and when we stop, we have to be here. So we can alter for a change at there. So this will be the left and this will be the right. But as we go, it will still be on the right side. And when we go back, let's assume we get to zero. Like this way and we still go up and we still have to leave one alone. So we prove so the statement is when there's a n times n square and when n is equals to an even number. And n is not zero. You cannot find a path that walks through all greed. And it is same for rectangles, if you can try. When n times m, if n is even and m is even, it is it is impossible to walk find a path to walk through the all boxes in the grid. But it's possible when n or m, I mean one of them is even and one of them is odd. This is possible to walk through. So what we can do next is we can try a road. So what we can do is we can give up numbers. We can try giving up one. But it is impossible because one is a starting box. So we can try giving up this two or this two. In this way, it will work. We are able to find a successful route. That is able to work through all other boxes. So, what we need to do next is we only need to calculate the sum out. What we, we need to do next is to add the sum of them out. The easiest way is to add them directly, but there's, I mean, better ways. The first line has the sum of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. The second line has the sum of 2 times 4 times 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 11, 12. 
The third line has 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 12 plus 15 plus 18. So we can find that the second line is twice the first line, and the third line is triple the first line going up. So what we can do is we can multiply add them together 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 times 1 for the first line plus 2 for the second line plus 3 for the third line plus 4 for the fourth line plus 5 for the fifth line plus 6 for the last line, which is equal to 4, 4, 1, which is equal to 4, 4, 1, and we still need to minus 2. It's equal to 4, 3, 9. The end. In fact, problems, they have many solutions, and my solution is only a part of them. If you have more cha challenging solutions, please comment below. And don't forget, I will also post my problems there. See you tomorrow!